There you go. Okay. Looks like love. NIP yeah. Flash. They better the miss start and the Barats. They pick up the Ruby. They take it away. I believe that Terizla should be the pick here for uh, for NIP Flash. Or do you, do we want a spicy Diablo pick like a? By the way, just just say homeboys. They did ban out the Nolan. Oh, so Ooh. it's Benedetta and the Gwyn. And baby Gwyn. Thank you, gentlemen. Oh, we're ready. And uh, this one definitely looks like they want to unleash a Diablo. Great to see the Benedetta come to play here. But like the Mark is in mid after what we saw before. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of people will be happy with the Xavier mid too, but Curtizzi already pushing the pace in the early, early parts of the game. JPL going to be very low though. Udo spamming out. The skill ones, the reds. Now the Mystic Field, Kurt oh. with a flicker forward straight into the Mortal Coil, but he's unable to get any of the executes. Decimate is level four, but Diablo, the devil now trying to go onto Udo with the eye for nine to petrify oh. by Diablo. The lethal ignition tick to take Zorn down too. The Singaporean devil strikes, but now Chibi goes with like and pounce. Diablo still able to escape with the Mortal Coil from Curtizzi. NIP Flash with an extreme advantage. All the way in the first minute. Devilish moves oh. from Diablo. That was really, really good. And, you know, the analyst already spoke about it. Now Kurt going to be caught in the Mystic Field. Chibi won't go for the overcommitment here under the turret. But what they talking again, about? analyst panel, they were saying Diablo is on a pick, on a damage dealer. Expect Diablo to do Diablo things. Okay. Suppa won't be able to precipitate in the skirmish now. And Zorn... We force back, it seems. There's no way they can go for this final slash to the petrify. There, Chibi gonna be locked down. Still able to escape with the Lycan Pounds. And Sorn gets caught. Decimate one last hit. And he slashes him to bits. Chibi gonna be caught again. Hades finding the projectile eye for an eye oh from my. Diablo. He's mad about the name call. And Udil will be able to escape. Getting the Mystic Field. Sapat now running away. Diablo still trying to run. That final hit from Sapat gets him down. As Hades will have to respect Sapat here. Together with Udil, he won't be able to steal it away. But JPL does force it on as if Diablo is on the Benedetta cutting in the bottom lane now using final slash or final blow rather to get out now he's gonna have to time the eye for an eye perfectly dashes again petrify GB looking for the oh. pounce but the eye for an eye to outplay <laughs> Diablo in the bottom lane outplaying GB forcing him on 0-2 on top island Requiem straight into the alley you that's the decimate Curtizzi able to escape with the mortal coil perfect Timing for the turtle. Talk about timing. They're also just gonna force his horn out of here. But man, great team fights and just like these little skirmishes happening across the map. Diablo though again with this Benedetta. Well, and they'll go ahead and just kind of try to slow things down a little bit. I'm offended it's gonna be used. With the way the dragon, but it kicks him all the way to the other side. Good mystic field though, as a violent record will be used up. Hades what? able to escape so with a flicker forward, Hades! The young <laughs> place continue for NIP Flash, even dodging away from the dotting light as Vanix gets rid of Chibi on the other side, forcing a blazing duet from Nets, who's unable to really lock anyone down. NIP Flash are absolutely styling on homeboys. I Flash. They're they're playing this game with their 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 hearts and everything else on their sleeves. Petrify inside of the final blow straight into the Requiem. Sapphire gonna be very low. Diablo one last slash to take him down. 11 to 1 now. It takes a team very special like NMP Flash to make this work so well. And they're gonna go ahead and continue to play with the fact that they've gotten themselves nearly a 8,000 gold lead. A dawning light already gonna be used. And they get that turret, that tier 1 already. Zorn. Oh, what's he gonna do here? Vanix has the Purify, doesn't even need to do it now. Oh my god, again! The Requiem into the Decimate, it does half of Nets' HP! And Diablo gets spotted out. He does have the eye for an eye, will be able to escape. Sapat unable to go for the chase, but every single time, even when homeboys are, are actually in range, they have so many anti-CC abilities. They have the Mortal Coil, they have the Power of Nature here for JPL. Look at him, he's just walking up, now into the final blow. Udo gonna be caught again, Diablo! He's taking that interview answer personal. It's been somewhat close, but there's been a couple games now where it's one-sided like this. And that's a Holy Crystal also picked up. Uh oh Spatial migration into the Violet Requiem, and that's the decimate that we're always waiting for when they get these combos. Man, that's not Levi Ackerman. That's Curtisi. That's Curtisi. That's Curtisi right now. 7-0-3. Just absolutely massive. On this mid, Martez again. again They're gonna go in. Spatial migration. Eye for an eye from Diablo as he pops in the final blow. He doesn't have the petrify. So no combo just as of yet. 
Lord up top with another wave coming down as well. JPL, good barrier. To place them in an awkward spot, but there's no real follow-up, <laughs> and they will not go for anything too crazy. Not just now. Not just yet. Shields are all going to be popped, I believe, even the bottom one. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's homeboys trying to hold it down together. Another wave going to be pushing in. There you go. Patience, Diablo. Eye for an eye, missed time, can't take my way to Dragon now with the Lycan, pops the shutdown, but the Violet Red Group catches him in the back hurt. That's one, he's looking for more, no one's low enough, Kurt oh. forced to flick around his TV, gets very, very low, Hades is even a body block for Vanix as he takes some of those shots. Two for one, it's still good for NIP Flash. You know, end it, without the Lord at least, you yeah, know, because yeah. homeboys have a lot of wave clear here with the Xavier, Zorn, and Chibi, though, oh. they're gonna be caught. A spatial migration into the Requiem. This time, no decimate. It's just enough damage with a Synchro Vision. Diablo baits a few of those resources, gets out with the final blow. Eye for an eye. Say goodbye to the Lord. It should be free to NIP Flash. And homeboys, they can only just look for the defense at this point. I'll miss surviving even that initial uh, burst that is gonna come out from NIP Flash. Ooh. Another Winter's Crown. Oh, they stopped Zorn. Oh, Zorn gets spotted out. This might be a four-man fight oh, all the way no. to the start. Now, final blow by Diablo. Zorn is running circles around him. Good maneuver is actually stopping the siege from happening from NIP Flash, a five-man siege. But Diablo will be able to catch up on the Zorn. Still able to use the Jeet Kune Do. Meanwhile, up top, it's a base turret falling down. Diablo's still on the chase. JPL gets a three-man oh. wild charge. But none of them use the Purify. Bottom lane, that's finally the solo kill happening. But I think, hey, did All Zorn things do that was that was good. That was good for Zorn. Maybe not for long though. As NIP Flash, they still have some of these resources to utilize up against Homeboys. Udo gonna be forced back. Curtisi finding the decimate straight into the Winter Crown. As Chibi we forced back by Diablo. That's another decimate used up. A shutdown now by Chibi as he is able to take him down. But. It's one against three. Vanix, Hades, and Diablo up against Chibi, who's going to be locked down, knocked up, and taken out. Equalizer to send us to game number five. 23 to four. What a dominant game here. Exactly when they needed it for NIP Flash to bring it all to a best of one, basically. One game, the deciding factor between the homeboys and NIP Flash. Right now, we have to talk about as well throughout this best of five. A lot of the early stages of this best of five, the first three games, we're seeing a lot of assassins. But you guys shifted up game number four and game number five. Was there any uh, particular uh, particular reason why you guys went for that strategy going up against homeboys? Um, I think the switch was because we, if we were gonna lose, we wanted to lose on our best heroes. And oh. what is Diablo known for? He's known for his Benedetta. And we wanted to make sure that he at least got to play the Benedetta at least once. That's great. I mean, here's the thing. He was able to play it twice. And honestly, I want to ask as well for the Benedetta pick. Was it Diablo himself that asked for that pick? Or you guys, the manage, uh, the coaching staff is like, Diablo, you got to use this hero. Um, I think it was both. Diablo wanted to play Benny as well. He was tired of playing um, Ruby and Ale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so he wanted to be the damage dealer. And we were also okay with it because we trusted him.